Hi everyone, Simona here from Vector Twist. This is day 7 of our series 12 Days of Christmas and today we're going to talk about the knife tool. I want to show you a really simple trick with the knife tool. Simple, but really great. So for example here, on my artboard, I have the shape of a candy cane. Now I would like to cut it up into pieces so I can add my gradients to make it look like a candy cane. And I could go several ways about it. I could create lines with the pen tool. I could use the line tool and then use the Pathfinder palette. But I think I'm just going to achieve the same thing with the knife tool. So let me show you. First, let's find the knife tool. Here in the toolbar, you see the scissor tool. So just press and hold and underneath you will find the knife tool. Now, if I was to cut up the shape here for our candy cane, I would just start going and you can see it goes a little bit wiggly. It doesn't really do anything straight. Not too bad, I could try to make it as straight as I wanted, but as you can see, it doesn't really do that. But there's a simple trick to make a straight line with the knife tool. And all we have to do is press the Option or Alt key on the keyboard, hold it, and then cut away and see what happens. All of a sudden, I get a straight line. And this way, I can cut up my candy cane really nicely. And once I get to the top part, I'll just cut away and I keep the Option or Alt key on the keyboard pressed, and I cut my candy cane into shapes. And the best part about the knife tool too, is that when you select the shapes, nothing is grouped together, they're single shapes. I really like this feature about the knife tool. Of course, you can achieve the same way with the Pathfinder, but usually everything is grouped and then you have to ungroup it. So now all we have to do is just select the shapes and then fill them with a color. So I'm going to select all of the shapes I would like to give a white gradient to, and I'm going to select the black shapes and apply a red gradient. I might have to change the gradients here a little bit, but that's easily fixed with the gradient annotator. This is a really short tip here, how you can create shapes really easily, cut them up with the knife tool. Simple, but yet very useful. And this is it. If you liked it, please leave a comment below and do not forget to subscribe to the channel here. And at the same time, don't forget to head over to VectorTwist.com and check out more tutorials and articles on the blog. And I'll see you tomorrow with our next tip. So stay tuned.